If you've been reading my blog, I've talked a lot about how to use WordPress and your dashboard, but I thought that maybe some of you would just like to have a video that would just kind of walk you through how to get started. So right now I'm looking at my dashboard, and you'll, over here you see that it says Posts. Click on Add New. And I'll click on Add New, and it's just being kind of slow. Okay, so now you would just put your title here, and let's just say New Posts. <clears throat> what I really want to show you here is the WYSIWYG editor and how to use it. Most of you probably know that, but for some of you who are brand new to this whole blogging thing in WordPress, I just want to go through it um, and demonstrate a little bit how to use these things. You notice that there are two tabs, Visual and HTML. Um, I'm going to show you first how to use the Visual part of it. So I'm going to click on Visual and you could just type in whatever you wanted, but I just I want to go through what um, the toolbar here will do for you. If you're in the visual uh, tab, you'll see that the B will make your type bold and the I will make it italicized. The ABC thing, this is a strike through, this will um, show that you want to delete, well you, you don't actually delete it, it will just strike through your your text. This is going to give you an unordered list or kind of the bullets um, the one, two, three here will number your list. If you click on the quotation marks here, it's going to put your um, text in quotes and even make a, a text bo a quote box. Here is how your text is going to show. It's going to be aligned to the left, centered, or aligned to the right. Now this is how you do links. And I want to show you how to do this because I know it confuses a lot of people. So let's say I was going to do a link on, um, I wanted to link to one of my websites on baking. How about that? I Oops, I can't even spell here. And so I would link back to my Dough Raising Mom site. First you want to highlight it. And that's going to make these these link uh, boxes turn turn blue. And so I want to provide a link. And so I click on the one the one on the left, which says insert a link. And here I'm going to just send them to uh, my dough raising mom site. And I want it to open in a new text window so that when they close it. They'll be back on my site. I don't want to send my traffic away from the site. And then you click Add Link. And now you'll notice that it turned blue. And after I publish it, clicking on this when someone's reading the post will take them to the place that I, um, to the link that I added. And in, in this case, over to my Dough Raising Mom site. Now, I'm sure that all of you have seen where there are um, blogs that go on and on and on, and they take up a lot of space. Well, if you wanted to just limit the amount of space so that people don't have to keep scrolling down, you can use this. It's called the More Tag. And wherever you place it, I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, if I want to send you to another page, I would use the More Tag. I would place it right here. I would do that. And you'll see it draws a line, and it would say More. Well, what that's going to look like is that on your on your blog, whatever you wrote before this line is going to show up, and then it's going to say to read more, click here, and that will take them to an entirely new page. One of the benefits of that is that it starts um, encouraging people to click around in your website and look at what else you have. So that's a really good thing to use. Now you see this is a spell check. This is called the toggle to full screen, and if you clicked on this, it would make your window full screen, and clicking on it again will take it back. This window is um, called the kitchen sink, and if you click on it, it'll give you a lot more options in your toolbar. And one of the ones that I wanted to show you is, I've talked about using your headings and subheadings, and it's really good to use these because when you put keywords in a subheading, it's going to get noticed by Google and it's going to help bring traffic to your website. Now you don't usually want to use the heading 1, that's pretty much reserved for the title of your post, but heading 2 and 3, those are subheadings and if you can strategically use a keyword in that subheading that makes sense to the conversational reader, that's going to be really good for you for getting traffic. So you want to pay attention to that. 
Now, if you want to underline something, it's the U. And if you want, you know, if you want to just have everything aligned to the to the left, then the whole page will be aligned like that. You want to do, you can do that. This A, if you click on it, it's going to give you the different colors. You can use different colors in your text. But I do want to caution you that you don't want to use a lot of colors. Um, it looks really amateurish and can be really distracting. Um, now, if you wanted to bring in plain text you could click on this it'll open up a little window you can you can have you can paste text that you've um, written somewhere else if you wrote it in word you can do the same thing here and you paste from word um, this will remove the formatting and this will give you the custom characters if you click on that you know then you have all these you know if you want a copyright or if you want um, just any of these characters that you might find other places, percentages, and all that kind of stuff. That's where that is. Um, this is, of course, do an, re, to redo and undo. Um, yeah, let's see if I've covered everything here. This is if you want to indent. But anyway, the, I, I don't want to make this real long, but I did want to just do something short and sweet that would explain how to use this toolbar um, if you click to HTML, you're going to see that the toolbar is much shorter, um, and it's going to just let you use a few, the, the HTML that you may know. I'm going to wind it up. I'm, I, I've written other things about this. I will place a few links if you want to see some, some text examples of this, but hopefully this little video will help those of you who are kind of like me who like to see things in video.